How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to fix the BIOS on this HP laptop. Every time I try to turn it on I get a two blink LED on the caps lock light which means that it's a BIOS issue, a BIOS chip issue, or a BIOS corruption issue which we're going to fix in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel consider subscribing and let's get into the fix. The screen of the computer is completely black no matter what, we don't get anything on it. We just get the two blinks from the cap locks. And for whatever reason, my Wi-Fi button is also lit up amber on my computer. Your model may vary with the Wi-Fi button, but it should be blinking two blinks on the caps locks or beeping twice when you try to power it on. So HP has a built-in function for BIOS recovery. We're gonna hold Windows and the B key, which is the most common combination for the HP laptops. If Windows and B doesn't work for you, maybe try Windows and V or just holding down the B button when you're starting the computer. But most likely you're going to have to hold Windows and B, the secret BIOS recovery combination. So right now I'm, I'm in the blink mode. I'm going to just power the laptop off by holding the power button down for about 10 seconds. I could hear the fan kick off and now it's not lighting up anything. Now we're gonna go Windows and B and then I'm going to power the laptop on and we didn't get anything. So I'm gonna power the laptop off again, holding it down for about 10 seconds. And now I'm gonna hold down Windows and V. And now I'm gonna power the laptop on. Didn't get anything. We're gonna power the laptop off. We're going to hold B and power the laptop on. And still, we didn't get anything coming up on the screen. And because that didn't work, I'm assuming this laptop model doesn't have the built-in BIOS recovery function pre-installed. So we're going to create a recovery USB using another Windows computer. So I'm gonna take this, plug it into our other computer, and I will see you guys on the computer. Once your USB drive is plugged in, you are going to want to open up a folder, navigate to that USB drive, right click, go to format. You're going to want to format it in FAT32, um, then you're going to hit start, okay, and it is going to delete everything off of that drive, so do be aware of that when you format it. Once your format is complete, you're going to open up a browser. So we're at support.hp.com. I will put a link to this in the description for your convenience. And we're going to click here on software and drivers. And we are a laptop, so we will click laptop. And you can type in your serial number, which is on the back of your computer. So HP can dial in on exactly what computer you have so they can direct you to the right software that you need to download. Ours is 5CD50218YY. I'm going to hit submit. And it's actually an HP 15-F004DX. I thought that was a 100. So good thing I checked by serial number because I couldn't see how small that model number was. A F. I thought it was a 100. And then we're going to go here to all drivers. We're going to go to BIOS and you're going to pick the newest BIOS driver, which is this April 20, 2018. We're going to hit download for best results. We recommend a download assistant. No thanks. So we'll download and install manually. Okay, so our file just downloaded. You're going to want to navigate to your downloads folder, or if it pops up in your browser, you're going to click on that exe. It's going to pop up with, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You can't see it for some reason on the screen record. It just comes out black. We're going to hit yes. And then it pops up with this. We're going to go next, accept, next, next. It's going to extract and then pop up with this. This is going to be the BIOS update utility. We're going to go next. And then from here, create recovery USB, hit next. And then your USB should pop up. You're going to highlight it. You already formatted it in FAT32, and then you're going to hit next. Now it's going to copy the files and create a bootable BIOS update USB. You're going to hit finish, and then you're going to hit cancel there. If you go to your folder, if you look at your USB, it should now have some folders on it, HP with BIOS update. We're going to eject that 
USB. Now that we have our newly made USB BIOS recovery, we're going to turn the computer off completely by holding down that button. This fan should kick off, the lights should kick off, and then we're going to plug that into our computer. Now we're going to hold the Windows and the B key again and turn the computer back on for a couple of seconds. Let go of that power button, still holding the Windows and the B key. And I had to hold it for a while, for about 10 seconds, but it did just kick on with the HB BIOS update. I am continuing to hold it while the progress is going. I don't think I have to hold it anymore. I'm just gonna let that progress update. And now it's writing the new BIOS from the USB that we created back to the BIOS chip of this HP computer that had a corrupted BIOS. The recovery will take several minutes to complete. Just sit back, grab a drink, and wait for the BIOS to be installed. Now that it's recovered the BIOS, it's going to restart. And for a few minutes, various LEDs may flash. Do not interrupt the computer at this time. Just let it go. It now says that it's flashing the boot block with a percentage. And now it says up here in the corner, it says a system BIOS recovery has occurred. Press enter to continue. So we're gonna hit enter. And now our computer posts and it's going to boot up to its operating system. And we are back on our computer with no black screen, no blinking caps lock, and no BIOS issues. Hopefully this video tutorial was helpful to you guys. Uh, if for some reason you still can't get it to work, I will put a list of additional resources in the description, or you could throw your problem in the comment section and hopefully we can get it solved. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.